Hey everyone! Today I have a new hair tutorial for you guys. I've partnered with Schwartzkopf again and I'm showing you this look. It is a fishtail halo braid and it's really easy but I'm not gonna lie to you it does take some time. It's perfect for fall whether you're going to a special event or it's just any old day whenever you want to get your hair out of the way. I've got some things to show you so let's get to it. First things first, I'm going to release the bangs and bring my hair down. And for this look, I want my hair to be as smooth as possible, so I'm gonna brush out the ends. And now I'm gonna use the Schwarzkopf Essence Ultime Satin Frizz Control and Protect Nutrinectar Beauty Oil. And I'm just gonna use a little bit of this and I'm gonna run it through the ends of my hair. This is gonna keep it really nice and shiny and it's gonna make it really easy to work with. All right, next up, I'm gonna to need to part my hair all the way down the back. I'm gonna use my teasing comb that has a little rat tail end on it. I'm keeping my side part because that's pretty much what agrees with my face best. You could do middle if you want. You gotta do you on this one. So keeping my side part and I'm going to part it all the way down the back of my head and create two sides. Okay, now I'm gonna secure the side that I'm not working on just to keep it under control. And now I'm grabbing the other side and I'm gonna start my fishtail braid. You can totally do just a basic three-part braid if that's what you're comfortable with. It's really easy if you've never done it. I'm gonna explain it, don't worry. First, you take the whole section and then you separate it into two smaller sections. And you're pretty much gonna be working with two sections the whole time. The next step is to grab a smaller section from one side and to cross it over into the opposite section. And now you're gonna repeat this step over and over and over. So grabbing a smaller section and crossing it over into the opposite side. Again, grabbing a small section, crossing over, and combining it with the opposite side. Small section, cross over, combine. You get it, right? Definitely don't worry if you've got some little messy pieces like that because you're, we're gonna loosen it up at the end anyway and we want it to be kind of like messy, I don't care kind of hair. And you just keep on going all the way down to the end, all the way down to like no hair. Just keep going. And now I'm to the very bitter end of my hair and I'm grabbing a clear elastic. It can be any color you want and I'm tying it off. Now we're moving on to the other side and surprise, we're doing the same thing. Just like before, we're taking a small section and crossing it over into the opposite side and combining it. And then again, taking a small section, crossing over and combining it with the opposite side. Another helpful thing that you can do is to kind of braid out this way, like you're braiding like Pippi Longstocking. So it's gonna be ready to cross over your head. Rather than braiding down, it'll be harder. You'll see why as I'm going. All right, and we finally made it to the end of this side. And so I'm grabbing my elastic and we're gonna tie it off. Done. And now we're gonna loosen them up. It's gonna look kind of messier and cooler, a little bit more bohemian whenever we do the crossover part. So I'm just basically tugging on the braid and it gives it kind of like a looser, messier look. So now you can see the difference. This one's been loosened up and this one is the fresh braid. Okay, so now I'm moving on to this side and loosening it up just like the other side. Super easy. Now I'm ready to grab my bobby pins and start crossing it over. I'm gonna start with this side. It doesn't really matter what side you start with. And I'm just going to pull it kind of tight and I'm gonna kind of make a crown shape 
right where a headband would go. Grabbing a bobby pin and securing it in place. And now I'm just gonna add a few more bobby pins along the braid just to keep it in place. This part definitely depends on your hair. So if your hair is really loosey-goosey, you wanna add more pins, or if it's pretty much laying where you want it, you don't need as many. All right, so now that we have this side secured, we're gonna work on this side. So I'm grabbing another pin and I'm just lifting it up and crossing over that other end, hiding it conveniently, kind of going behind the braid and then tucking this end underneath the other braid. It's all about hiding things, this look. And securing it in place. Basically, you just have to work with it, and if there's a bit that's sticking out and you need more bobby pins, add them. If you don't, you can skip it. Next up, I'm just gonna go through, and if there's any bits that I think could be loosened up a little bit, I know that doesn't make sense, pin it down, loosen it up, but it's all part of it. And be just because I want it to look like a more relaxed kind of braid, rather than super tight, very structured. Once it's loosened to your liking, you're pretty much done, but now we wanna kind of control those super frizzy bits. Now I'm gonna use the Schwarzkopf Stylist Ultime Crystal Shine and Hold Transparent Polishing Pomade. I'm using this to kind of control the crazy flyaways. And so I'm just grabbing a tiny bit and I'm going over those little hairs. So I'm just looking for all those little hairs and just smoothing them down. It's really easy. You don't need a lot of this product to get a little shine and get those flyaways under control. And now I'm just ready to set the look with hairspray. I'm gonna be using the Schwarzkopf Stylist Old Team Crystal Shine and Hold Laminating Shine Hairspray. This one is great because it smells amazing, it sets the look, and it adds shine. All right, and this is your finished look. I have one more optional step that you can do if you have something fancy that you want to add. I have this little headband. It has sparkly rocks on it. This is what I like. Use what you like. And I'm just gonna basically put it on in the place that I would put a regular headband on. All right, I'm just positioning my sparkly rocks where I want them. And that's the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you post any pictures of you with this look, I'd love to see them, so tag me on Instagram or wherever. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe, and if you are, thank you so much, you are my people. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone. Natural bobby pinning. I'm a natural. Maybe just cut that part out. We don't need it. Is that okay? Sorry. What'd you think of that? It was okay. It was a little like, whoa, but that's fine. I loved it. Let's do some. Let's just do some nice posy poses. Um, I was already doing it. <laughs>